Hello students, this is uh, Arjuna Nishan Gundarkar, Assistant Professor, Department of Microbiology, Cricket Hakur College, Nipani. So today we are going to be taking the lecture on a seams, their function and the structure. Now, what is the structure and function of the seam? Now, you know the basic idea info, uh, information about the seam. Seam is the largest organ of the human body. It is an imperative and a vital organ and it is a flesh. It having the fleshy surface with the hair, nervous, gland and nails. It consists of the hair follicles which is the anterior hair strand into the skin. It acts as a barrier between the outside and the inside of the environment. Now the skin has a different thickness and a texture. For example, take an example as the skin which is under the eye, it is as thin as a paper, but the skin which is near to the sole of the feet and a palm, it is a somewhat thicker in nature. Now the skin acquires an area of the 20 square feet on our body surface. It protected us from the external environment element, which is regulating the body temperature by the releasing of the water from the sweat. And it allows the sensation like the touch, heat and a cold. It also uh, guards the bones and the muscle and other vital organic organs which is present in our body. Now, the structure of the seam is made up of the three layers. The name is epidermis, dermis and a hypodermis. So, these are the structure of the seam. You can say that the epidermis which is the outer layer, dermis which is the between middle layer and the hypodermis which is the internal layer. Now, if in case of the epidermis, it is the outermost layer of the skin. The cell is thin layer which is we call as the keratinocytes. Now, the keratinocytes are composed of the protein, proteins called as the keratin. Now, keratin straighten the skin and makes it so waterproof in nature. Also, the second cell is present called as the melanocyte that is producing the melanin and this is also present in this layer. So, in addition with the keratinocytes and the melanocytes, the another cell that is called as the Merkel cells are there, which is essential for the light touch sensation. And the Langerhans cells are there, which are the part of the immune systems are also present in the skin in a epidermis layer. Now, this epidermis layer has subdivided into the following layers. First is the stratum corneum, granular cell layer, spinous cell layer and the basal cell layer. Now, Types of the epidermal cells. There are the three main types of the cells which are present in the epidermis. First is the melanocyte. Now these cells are located in the basal cell layer and produce a pigment called as the melanin. Now this melanin is absorbing by the new cells and protect against by us from the harmful sun rays. The two factors that govern the melanin quantity in one body is the genes and the second is what the amount of the exposure to the sunlight. Now Second cell which is present in epidermis is the keratinocyte. Now these are the main cells which are the produced in the basal layer and attached towards the outermost layer. Third cell which is present is the Langerhans cell. Now these cells are the specified to protect the body against the foreign particle and hence it is a part of the immune system. So epidermis and the dermis layers are connected through a dermi, a dermo epidermis junction and contain the basement of the membrane. Second layer, which is the medial layer, is called as the dermis. So, this dermis layer is the beneath to the epidermis and it is the dermis layer. Now, this layer consists of the papilla, which is the finger like projection. This layer it consists of the thin layer, which is containing the fat, fibers, collagen, which makes our skin flexible and strong. Dermis synthesizes the vitamin D, which to the absorb the calcium on exposure of the sunlight. Now, it consists of the blood vessel which supply the blood for the formation of the new cells. Now, third layer which is the innermost layer called as the hypodermis. Now, this is a subcutaneous layer which is made up of the fat and the form the innermost layer. Now, its thickness is depend upon region where they are appear and vary. For example, the area around the eye is the comparatively thinner for the easy movement of the eye. Now, Next, we are going to be moving towards the function of the skin. Now, as you know, skin is very important part and they will be having the different kinds of the function. So, first function is what? To protect it of the environment. So, this is the foremost and the most important function of the skin. That is, they will be keeping the pathogen away from our body and they will be not do, and they will be not enter into the skin unless and unless it is not going to be broken or it is not going to be caused by any harm. Second, they will be useful in case of the prevent of the water loss. So, human possess a thin, a thick skin layer that is losses the less water. In desert, the human skin gets the thicker to prevent the water from the dry air. Third function is the sensation. 
Pain is the main sensing organ that can be sensed the touch, heat, pressure, cold, pain, and a pleaser. The network of the nervous uh, that is the translated the signals into the brain, and thus we can be respond the appropriately to the particular stimulus. Fourth function of the skin useful in case of the regulation of temperature. So our skin loses the water through the perception and the cool itself, thereby removing the heat from the body. It also allows the hot blood to move in the surface of the skin, where heat is radiated out of the skin. Next function of the skin is the camouflage. So many animals having the phenomena of the camouflage, where their skin producing the different colors and a pattern. So that will be important to then protect from the predators, and this skin is going to be blended with the surrounding. Also, it makes it easier for the predator to catch their prey by making themselves is is uh, invisible in the surrounding. The skin of the chameleon can release a different amount of the pigments uh, at their own own will. Now, next function is the storage. So, skin can be stored it in fats and water in their tissue. This provides the extra insulation in our body. The animal form a colder region. Develop a thick layer of the fat, prevent themselves from the outside to the skin. And the last function is excreting to the sense signal. The sweat signal and that sweat secreted by the our skin can also act as a signal to the other organism. So many organic animals mark their territories by the secreting some scent from the glands in their skin, which contain the informations about its age, health, gender, and availability to the mates. So this is about the skin and their function. Thank you very much.